Welcome back to part two. So here are my patterned prints that I made in part one. Um, now I'm going to piece these together to create a patchwork and I'm going to use this uh, burlap page. Those of you who've got this Dina Wakely media journal will know that um, it comes with these different pages. I'm going to use this burlap page and I'm going to create a patchwork with this little addition of this little cute fish stamp, this is by Carabelle Studio. Now you don't have to sew, even though it's patchwork, you can always just do it with a pen to create the fake stitching look. First thing I'm going to do is to trim some pieces off my prints to three centimetres wide. Now I don't think it matters what size you go for as long as you are consistent. I've got my collection now of three centimetre wide strips and I'm going to start trimming them so that they'll fit on this burlap page. I want it to be slightly irregular, so I'm going to trim these down again. Also, as I piece them together, I want to leave some little windows, some gaps in the middle. Now it's going to be slightly regular, which makes my head hurt a little bit actually. I find it much easier to have everything regular, but I like the look of things being slightly irregular. So I'm just going to start trimming so as I start stitching together, I will also have some little windows in between. I have now cut my strips to allow for this kind of irregular edge and I've allowed for two little windows. Now I'm going to just directly stitch these, not to the burlap, just to each other in a sewing machine. If you think that sounds too tricky, you could stick these onto a larger piece of card and just cut around the edge cut out the window and then you could hand draw the stitching on with a fine marker. One thing that always helps cut out papers look better is just to ink those edges first. I'm just using a little bit of Distress Ink to get rid of those white raw edges. I've stitched that together now. It doesn't have to be too tidy. It's all going to be stuck in there anyway. Now it's pieced together, it's easier for me to put some top layers on, which I'm going to do with some stamps and a bit of white pen. And if you feel it needs it, you can always add a little bit more colour with your top layers, uh, oil pastels, distress crayons, gelatos, whatever you have. And I'm just now going to add a little bit of gold with a bottle lid, just overlapping sort of a top layer just to unify those different patchwork pieces. So there's my background kind of done. What I'm going to do now is stamp three of this little fish design for Carabelle Studio. I'm going to stamp that onto this pickup print. One of the nice things about pickup print is you get the colour but you get less pattern so it's great for stamping on. Then I'm going to enhance the colour with a little bit of watercolour and I'm also going to stamp three. Now these are little vines out of a set that I've designed for Carabelle Studio but it also doubles up and makes great seaweed. Three is a good number for stamping. Um, so I'm going to stamp three of each. Now I have all of my elements to complete this page. I have my fish cut out and ready. And I'm just going to have a couple of them swimming into the windows. And I've cut out my little vine to make um, seaweed. So I'm going to stick all this down in a moment. And the final thing I'm going to add 
is this quote, this is one of my favourite quotes, it's from the children's film Nemo, Just Keeps Swimming. And I'm going to put that three times to continue that theme of three and then finish with a little bit of glitter. So that is my completed journal page from print to project. Complete with fish and seaweed. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.